Hey guys, um, and welcome to episode 2 of my Minecraft Let's Play slash tutorial. Now today, since yesterday was a bit of a chaotic mess, I guess you can say, we're gonna try and fix this chaotic mess. Now, as you can see, I have three basic stone tools, five sticks, two wooden planks, piece of gravel of flint, 12 torches, 17 coal, 4 rotten flesh, and a spider eye. Now today I'm going to be talking about food and how you can restore your health. Because as you see, I am only on half of a heart. And that is not anything good really. Because then I can end up dying with just one touch. So I don't want that to happen. So let's actually eat. So there are many different types of food you can eat. I don't have any right now other than these two items right here. You could eat these, even the rotten flesh and the spider eye, but they each have a penalty for eating them, like the rotten flesh, when you eat that, it gives you a hunger thing that makes your hunger bar deplete. Um, I think I think it's ten times faster than it normally would, or five times, or something like that. And then the spider eye will poison you, so when you eat it, it... it does increase your hunger bar, but it does, but it hurts you. What the heck? Were you just dancing on a pole? Um, you go in there. <laughs> I don't know how you can jump too high. But um, yeah. So I guess we could eat the rotten flesh, but I don't really want to, considering it's almost night time, and I do not want that to happen. So I'm gonna go and collect some wheat. Now, if you're in the same world as me, you can, you'll have wheat farms around you. But if you're not, then you might have to make your own if you don't have a thingy of a bobber. If you don't have a village. So, that's a bit of a annoying thing right there. But, um, yeah. So what you need to do is collect the wheat by punching it. You just punch the wheat and it will give you two bales of wheat. Well, it will give you one per thing, one to three, I believe, and then it will give you one to three seeds. And there's a cow in my house. Go away, cow. You could also kill animals for food, like the cow, a chicken, a pig you can get food from. Like how I killed that cow, I got some raw beef. And a piece of leather. Uh, and I'll get into leather a little bit later. So the wheat is very useful, but I mean I can't use it in this state because I can't eat it like that. So what you want to do is you want to go around harvesting your crops or else plant your own. Now the way to plant your own, I'm going to show you this momentarily, you'll need a hoe. And a hoe is a special tool that allows you to plant crops. So, cause then you just go up onto any piece of dirt or grass, make sure it's next to water, or at least get a, well I won't explain that yet, but make sure it's next to water and then you will be able to grow wheat. So you wanna right click on the ground, I'm dead. Okay. That was a very unfortunate death. That's what death looks like. It will give you two options. Return to title screen or... Respawn. And I respawned because I didn't sleep. And that I will get into a little bit later. But there are tons of animals over here that I could kill for food. Or I could just do... Or I could just die and... and well, let's just hope all my stuff is still there. Now, my house is over here, and I blew up over here. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They took out a good chunk of the farm right here, but... Oh, my sticks. And cows, okay. This on. Okay. Got all my stuff back. Let's just get back up. Oop, I think I need that. Okay. Now I'll show you this 
in the morning. So I will pause this until it becomes morning. Okay? Bye. Okay, we're back. So now I got some stuff that we need to use to eat. I have two bread, a steak, the rotten flesh, and the spider eyes. Now, I did not show you guys, I kept the resources that I need. So this is how you want to make the bread. Instead of actually going into there and making and cooking it, you can't do that for some reason, even though that would make more sense. What you have to do is you have to put three bread, three, not, three wheat in a row. Here, it could be in this row, it could be in this row, it doesn't matter. In your crafting table, and that will give you a piece of bread. Like that. And that you could use to eat. And that restores, I believe, two and a half hunger bars. Yep. And to eat, you just hold down, right click, and it will bring it up to you, and you'll see the crumbs falling out and stuff. So then the next way you get food is this is a piece of steak, which is raw beef cooked. And the way you cook raw beef is you put it in top, the top part of the furnace. As you see, it's cooking. You could use coal, wood, whatever you feel like. And then once this is done, boom, a piece of steak. Now what you need to do, this is a piece of raw pork. Yes, I went out and killed a pig while you were gone. So what I need to do for this is I need to do the same thing. And then it will cook it into, if we just wait for it, wait for it. Taking a little while here. Boom, cooked pork. So many people think that it looks so disgusting, but isn't that really the way pork looks in real life? I don't know. Well, the steak and the pork have about the same healing. They do four hearts. I think the steak does four hearts, two or three and a half. Spider eye, I don't know how much that heals. Uh, it heals a certain amount. I'm not very aware of. Oh, wait. My mom called me. Here, one second. Oh, wait, which Okay, sorry about that. My mom was calling me. Um, so now what we need to do is... Well, we can try to eat these, I guess, if you want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat this spider eye. Now watch what happens. It heals me, but it also hurts me. See, I'm poisoned. That makes you poisoned. It only heals about, I think, one food thing, so I guess it's good in a pinch. But as you can see, my health is replenishing. Now the way to make your health replenish is you need to have at least nine meat popsicles which I have 10 of right now. So that would make me heal. And then there's a little testificate running around there. Now what you need to do, and then you can eat the rotten flesh too. I mean, it's worth something, I guess. But I mean, that's the be not the best food you could really eat. So now what we need to do, other than food, I can show you some uh crafting so now i need to show you the two other tools that i told you about so i need you only need one stick on top of each other i'm just doing this because it saves me time but this is how you make an axe one stick one stick and then the head of the axe like that and boom you get a stone axe you can do this with wood too wooden axes just aren't as fast and this is how you make the all farming tool that I told you about. Like that. Two sticks on top of each other, and then two pieces of cobblestone like this, or like that. It doesn't matter. I usually put them like that, because that's the way it looks. But And then you get a stone hoe. You could also make a wooden one that like gives you an achievement, I think. But now what we need to do to make dirt become fertile you have to right click with the stone hoe in your hand and then boom it turns it into hoed land and now to make it become unhoed land you have to throw some an item on it and wait this music is good for waiting somehow it hydrated what the hell 
Okay, so that dirt is not gonna run away. But see this? This is already tilted. It spawns like this. Don't know why, but I guess it just makes sense. And then the way to make it, um, it's the better way to grow it, I guess you could say, with water. Because if you if you don't have any water near it, it will still grow, but it will take a lot longer for the seed to grow. But if you do have water, it takes only a little bit of time, so you don't really have to worry about it too much. Do this is kind of loud. Turn down a bit. So now what we need to do? Well, we don't really need to do it, but I would like. Because I ran out of torches on my way around. So what I want to do is I want to go cave exploring to get some torches. Now, before I do this, I want to store away some of my items. And that is done by making a chest. Now a chest is basically the same way you make a furnace, except out of wood. So in a square shape, make this chest. And that gives you a chest. And you just put it in your inventory, put it in your hand, and then right click on the block where you want to place it. And you can right click it and it will open and give you all this inventory space. I usually like to organize mine, like the tools will go on the bottom, items go in the middle, like that. And then blocks will go on the top. That's how I usually have it organized grab this then I'll put some food in here too so I don't need this and then there we go so now we need to go down and find some more coal into that cave that we saw before now I torched up a little bit of it not much I didn't explore much of it I just torched up a little bit just so it would be a bit easier and we wouldn't be running into so many mobs so it's just a bit torched up right now. But I didn't mine anything, as you could tell. So here's coal, and this is the iron that I was talking to you about last episode. Now iron is just as useful as stone would be in the beginning. Now the way you mine it is you mine it just like you would mine anything else. You just hold down and left click. But you need a stone pickaxe or a higher level pickaxe than stone. You cannot have a wooden pickaxe and go, oh, I could mine this and then try to mine it. It will not work. You will eventually break it, but it will never yield anything. And that's the whole point of mining is to get something out of it. So, what's the point in trying to break something that you can't get anything out of? So, you'll need to craft a stone pick before going to look for iron. Just a little tip there. So, you always want to find stone before stone is usually the easiest thing to find other than dirt and trees okay now we have all this coal we have 20 pieces and someone just came on and playing counter-strike apparently now I didn't explore this too much as you can tell I just lit it up a bit and for some reason there's lava everywhere in this world but as you can hear that noise, that ch 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 when you drop something, an item, into lava, it will disappear forever. And you will never get it back. So that's a bit of a warning there. If you're going around by um, lava, try not to bring anything valuable on you, because you could always fall into it. It's a bit, a bit of a handy tip there. It's very handy, considering I lost most of my really good stuff to lava now I think I want to go get this so the way you would want to get it over a big hole is that you just look like this you hold shift down and then you can get to the very edge of a block without falling off now then you want to place the block on the side of the ledge so that you can get to it now then you want to do that Oop, not that it's not a smart idea now you could jump to it, holy crap, but it can be very difficult sometimes, and I just took a very big risk there considering I had a lot of my good items on me. I had my food, 
I had coal, I had my iron. So don't try to take too many big risks while you have some items on you. Not really a good idea. Now here it's almost night time. <coughs> my voice is a bit out of the weather. But um so now it's night time. Now what you need to do is you wanna go home and just rest up, wait a little while until it's daytime. So what we need to do now to make iron now I mean this is iron or you can't really do anything with it. You could place it, but I mean, there's no real point to it. The only thing that you could do with it is smelt it and make an even more useful tool. Tool, not tool, um, resource. And that is called an iron ingot. Now all you have to do is place it in the top of the thing with any fuel underneath. Sorry if you weren't able to hear me for a little bit there. My headphones just unplugged for some reason. So, um, that's all you have to do is you have to place it on top. Any fuel, then you'll be able to take it. And then you could use this to make resources and tools and stuff. So what we're going to do now, since I have a little bit of wood left, I'm going to make some more sticks so that I can make one of these so I can make an item actually I could probably can make two items for you guys the two most useful items in the entire game so, uh, at least for me I guess now that's how you make an iron pickaxe you just put three iron and it's on top and then two sticks and then that gives you an iron pickaxe which is the second best pickaxe you can make so then, what you want to do, after you have your iron pickaxe, take the rest of your iron out. And I think after I make the, the tool that I want to show you, I will show you guys armor. Considering armor is very useful. Now that's how you make an iron sword. It's just one, two pieces of iron, like that, and then a stick. Like, like the stone sword, except to change out the cobblestone with iron. Now, since I already made one, I don't want to make another. So now what you want to do is you want to throw back your sticks into your chest. And then you want to grab the rest of your iron if you have it. So what I want to do now is make some armor. Now, the way to make armor is iron is the second best you can make. Now, the first level of any of armor is leather armor which I can't make right now because I don't have enough leather you need tons of it which I do see lots of cows but I don't really feel like going out to kill them right now considering they won't come back so the way you make iron stuff is you make well this is the first thing I can make so you want to make a bit of like an end shape kinda looks like a hat with an empty space right here and nothing down the bottom but out of iron or leather because you could also just replace all the iron with leather and then you'll get a leather helmet instead of an iron helmet. So then you just want to grab it out of there and then place it in your inventory. Now, as you can see, I am not wearing it right now. The way you do that is you have to open up your inventory and then you see these four slots. This is for the helmet, this top slot. This is for the chest plate, which I can't make right now. Pants, I can't make them right now. And boots, I can't make them right now. So what I have to do is I have to place the helmet in that slot, and then I will have an iron helmet. Now if you see, that will give me a little iron shirt down there. They, that is, tell, that tells you how much protection I guess you get off of it. And it's really, it's very, very useful to know that, because if you don't know that, I don't know what, I think it's like, 10 pieces for a full set of diamond armor, which is the best resource you could ever get. I think it's 10 shirts for a full set of diamond armor. Um, 8 shirts for um, iron armor, for a full set of iron armor. Um, 
then it's like six shirts for a full set of gold armor, which is the second weakest, and then leather, which is the weakest. That is, I believe, gives you four to five shirts when you get a full set of that kind of armor. So yeah, it's a bit handy. Armor it protects you. You can um the shirt will tell you how much protection you're getting and then when you get hit by something that it will deduct. I believe it depends on what how much you're wearing, but if you have the full suit, it will if say a mob does two hearts of damage to you when it hits you, you only probably only get a half of a heart of damage. Which is really good. But with just an iron helmet, I think you'll get, instead of getting two hearts, you'll get probably about, uh, one and a, one and, um, one and a fourth, I believe, of damage. I don't know. I think that's it. But now what we want to do is we want to grab the rest of our coal. Now that's 35 pieces. Now you want to split it in half and put half of it in there and then take the rest. Now since I only have two sticks that means I need to cut down more trees. But with my two sticks I'm going to make two more torches. So I'm going to put my coal in here and wait for that time when I do go down to cut some wood. So what you want to do is I showed you this already just in case you forgot it's two coal or charcoal on top of two sticks and that will give you four torches that's a total of eight considering you got two pieces of each so now I think we're good for right now that was this episode I hope I cleared a couple things up for you guys and I'm hoping that that cha chaotic episode will just help some people and if it doesn't I will try to make a different survive your first night episode in this world so um yeah thanks for watching i hope this cleared everything up for you guys that you wanted to know in the second day of minecraft well this is probably my fifth day <laughs> because i talk too much and then it ends up turning night time and i end up just doing this walking around on the fence while i'm waiting so this is probably my fifth day, but it's technically my second episode, so it's the second day, I'm going to count it. And this is what you want to do in your second day, is you want to go down, mine, look for resources, like coal and iron, mine it and smelt it, and then look for food, because then you'll probably be hungry by then. You could either kill zombies to get rotten flesh, kill spiders to get spider eyes, kill cows to get raw beef, kill pigs to get raw pork, farm to get bread and kill chickens to get raw chicken and then I didn't show you the chicken because I couldn't find any chickens around so in the next episode I will talk about some special things biomes I will talk about in the next episode and probably more about exploring and like making a house and stuff that's a zombie and that's an enderman okay well, I'll see you guys next time, Mr. Zombie. Say goodbye. Say bye. No? Don't really want to? Okay. Well, bye, guys.